All right, welcome, Mr. Buki Sneed. What's up, what's up Banjo? What's going on, baby? Nothing much. Can you introduce yourself to us? Yeah, uh, my name is Marquis Sneed, Coach Sneed. Um, is where I go by here in the hallways. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a teacher. I teach uh, world history and the annex. So, yeah. All right. Well, it's come to our attention that you've released an album called See You Soon 92. Yeah. Can you explain the title, what it means to you? Yeah, uh, See You Soon 92, man, um, is... Uh, the title I decided to go with after going through a bunch of different titles, but but the uh, the the meaning of the title is uh, I was born in 1992, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, for me, CSU 92 is all about going back and viewing everything that you've been through in life, you know, the good times, the bad times, the ugly, and appreciating every single moment, you know, that you've ever been through because you understand fully, you know, when you take back and you you breathe. You look at everything, you realize that all that stuff has molded you into who you are. But sometimes we kind of focus on the negative. the negative, man. You know, you focus on the hardships, you know, your struggles, your pains. And so for me, it was all about me going back to the beginning of my life and processing every, just about every hard moment in my lifetime that I've ever been through and to the point of appreciating it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and allowing that to, to shift you know, and to change my story, man. I think sometimes, you know, we all tell ourselves a story, you know, internally, but I think sometimes that story can be negative. So for me, it's all about making that story positive, man, you know? Instead of letting it keep you down and be negative, it'll yeah. help you grow. Right on, right on, absolutely, man. And that's that's what we gotta do in life, man. Just, just grow, develop, and uh, you know, when you go through something, you gotta, if you don't use it for your benefit, you know, it, it, means, it means nothing. You know, so I think you gotta, you gotta channel all that negative energy and just use it positively. You know, so. All right. So when did you start recording for this project? Yeah. So I, I started recording in in May. Mm -hmm. Started writing songs in in March. Uh, my first studio session uh, was in Houston, and it was it was terrible, man. It was bad. It was it was it was horrible, man. I uh, I went in and uh, I had about about twenty. 20 takes on the first verse. Uh, hearing, my ver hearing my voice for the first time was, I'm like, wow, that's what I sound like. <laughs> and so, for, man, I had to just keep going, keep going, developing mm -hmm. in, the, in the booth, you know, keep trying uh, different sounds and kind of, you know, feel my way on how I wanted my style to be, you know, my own flow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes time, man. You know, it's, it's a process with everything. And so, uh, yeah, I started off in May and uh, been going ever since, man. It's one of the biggest like thanks to like breakthrough, right? Just yeah. It's yeah. a very self-conscious thing, I believe. It, it really is, man. The, when you begin something for the first time, you're, you're naturally, most people aren't really good at it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, sometimes people kind of get down on themselves because they want they want to do something. They, they enjoy this little thing and they want to be good at it. And it's like, ah, you just started that. Yeah. And so uh, you, you kind of have to, you got to fall on your face a little bit. You know, you got to smile, you got to laugh, you got to be angry, you got to be frustrated a little bit, but you got to, Keep trying it out, man, and eventually you'll be you'll be good at it, you know, if you give it some time. Just through like anything, right? Like That's with true. sports, with yeah. trying to ride a bike. Yep, trying to ride a bike. Uh, just li That's life, man, period. That's life. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we'd like to transition into the next question, mm -hmm. which is on a single song called Breaststrokes. Yeah. So we understand that you have a co-teacher, Coach Mui, mm -hmm. who went through a year of cancer treatments every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. And so we would just like to know your experiences with that. And we also understand you had a sick uncle. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Coach Mui, she's my co-teacher in world history. And she is absolutely amazing, man. Um, told you she's my, she's my work mom. Mm -hmm. And she looks out for me. We built such a tight relationship over the past year to where, I mean, that she, she's family, you know. And seeing her last year go through a lot of cancer treatments, I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, she was heading out. You know, and going to doctor's appointments, I mean, over and over and over and over again, man. And so to see her come back from those appointments and be able to teach class and actually pour into kids, you know, where a kid may be going through a problem, she kind of puts her stuff off to the side, mm -hmm. you know, and she helps out that kid, did a lot for me. And it kind of taught me, like, hey, the stuff that I'm kind of going through really ain't that big of a deal, you know. Um, everybody has their own issues, but when... When you have something like that in your face, it, it makes you appreciate, you know, uh, a lot of things that you do have, you know, mm -hmm. your, your health. Um, 
And like, so we're over here complaining about oh the Wi-Fi is slow, this and that. And yeah, man. There's people going through life-threatening situations. Exactly. I mean, you, you got to put stuff in perspective. You know, uh, you know, life life is 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 a beautiful thing, man. And so, right. you know, when your health is, you know, uh, tested, man. I mean, or the people that you know of, you know, when their health is tested, kind of puts things in, you know, re reality. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and so same thing with my uncle, man. He's been, that's that's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy, man. Uh, he's he's been bedridden for like the past ten years. Had a stroke. Uh, he he was really big into music. Used to work for Capitol Records, mm -hmm. and so I let him hear the song "Breast Strokes." <laughs> and I knew once I had his approval, he, we were good. He yeah. was like, "Okay, you know, okay, you sound pretty good, nephew." You know, and so uh, you got that stamp of approval. All right, let's go. Exactly, man. I mean, from a, from a, a dude, you know, that's in the music that knows music, and so uh, I see him. I try to see him at least. Uh, you know, every other day, you know, we sit back and we watch football games, basketball games. We we talk, but he uh, in that song I mentioned how he he can't he can't enunciate his words, man. He yeah. can't talk, and so the last stroke that he had, which was last um, October, I want to say last October, um, just kind of did something to his mouth, and so like he like I said, he just can't he can't sit there and have a decent conversation with me, so. I do all I do all the talking, man, and so it it um, you know I love those moments when we just sit sit in the bedroom and we put on a game and we just we just chill. And I tell him about the day, I tell him about what's going on outside in the world. You know, he watches the news, he watches his shows, you know, and we just um, it put it puts stuff like I keep saying in perspective, man, and and uh, it, it makes you appreciate the people that you, that you have around you. You know, you know your your loved ones, man. You got to treat them right. And then, well, from there, I want to transition to who's your biggest inspiration? My, wow, my biggest inspiration. Well, well, it can be more than one. It can know, be more than one. Uh, I, I think my biggest inspiration would be, I, I can't put a finger on it. Well, I would say my mom, man. My mom, uh, she is an amazing woman. I try to do anything that I do, uh, I try to I try to do it to the point to where if she would ever hear about it or look, you know, or, or, or see it, uh, she would she would be proud. excited about it or she would be proud. You know, I do a lot of stuff. I'm big on family, man. Family is, I mean, in that in that album, a lot of the stuff I'm talking about family. Family's big for me. So I would say the biggest inspiration, you know, uh, as a group would be definitely family. I love giving back, man, and so students actually were a big part of this album as well, man. Uh, you know, I wanted them to have a, uh, you know, a voice in it, you know, uh, some, with some of the stuff I talk about as far as what I've been through and how, you know, how they can relate to certain things. Um, so I would say the biggest, the biggest inspiration would be, you know, family, man. Uh, people that, not even, not even blood, man, but you know, people that you've been around for a long time. Family outside of blood. Family outside of blood, man. My 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 boys, you know, my boys. Yeah. So uh, that's, <laughs> you know, everybody, man, that I have a relationship with, you know, that that everybody's an inspiration, man. They inspire me. So uh, to 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 continue on and to just, you know, be a good guy, I guess, and and just try, you know, my best with everything that I do. So, yeah. And then. What were some of the biggest like difficulties throughout the whole process of recording? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Whenever okay, so I try my best not to be not to use any auto tone, any uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, any any of that sound. <laughs> you're influenced, man. Yeah. I mean, now that I'm in the music it's, deal. That's it. Like, that's, that's it, man. Thing. So like you you naturally want to be on a wave, but I'm you want to twist it to your benefit. Yeah, like, man. To how you like it? Exactly. You want to be yourself. You know, if you can't be yourself, you, if you're not original, if you're, you know, if you sound like everybody else, you know, there's no way that somebody can pick out your voice mm -hmm. and actually hear that you're saying something. And so for me, it was all about like being myself in the booth, um, figuring out my own style, my own flow, and um, just being honest, man. Well, honesty came easily. I mean, I can't get up in there and. Get to talking crazy and people be like, teacher, man, what yeah. you, you, know, you can't talk about that. You don't know anything about that. You know, so uh, uh, it was understanding the art form. Mm -hmm. I think some people get into things and they 
they take it for granted how much work people actually put in this stuff. So even though I'm talking about like people having the same style and flow, I mean, I appreciate that because I mean, it take, it's, it's hard work, man. When you're in there for the first time and you hear your voice for the first time, it's like, wow, dude, that sounds crappy. Like that sounds <laughs> bad, that sounds bad. And you don't, like if I'm gonna put something out there, you don't, I don't want it to be bad, you yeah. know? And so um, just falling on your face in the booth, man, you gotta, you gotta be willing to, to screw up. You gotta be willing to look bad, you know? I wanna touch back on the inspiration part. Like, yeah. in inspirations and the music yeah. part of it, Right. did you have anybody specifically in mind when you were like recording, like, I wanna sound like this or make something oh, like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, man, I'm a big, <laughs> So I got three guys. I'm a, I'm a big time. Uh, I like J Cole mm -hmm. because of his content. Of I like I like uh, Kung Fu Kenny Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a Chance the Rapper fan too. Uh, I I do like Logic. I like Lecrae and the Man, um, you can really w, hear those inspirations yeah, in your can, music. Yeah, I thought you could, man. Yeah. W L A K. Just a bunch of guys, man. Big Crit. Um, I'm a so I love jazz, man. There's a big composition of artists that I love. Mm -hmm. And so the tough part with that is, yeah, though you're influenced, you don't want to sound like exactly yeah. like these guys. But with anything that you do in life, you're going to be similar to somebody. You know, that's not... You can't have an Albert Einstein without an Isaac Newton. Exactly, man. I mean, you know, if, if you grow up, you know, you have parents around you and people say, hey, man, you act just like your dad or you act just like your mom, you know. I mean... Even in the booth, man, with music, you're gonna sound like somebody. So it's like, yeah, you, you're inspired by these people and you appreciate what they've done, you know, um, artistically. And so uh, that's a word. <laughs> but you want to, you want to be inspired. You want to take your own little mix to it, you know, add your little deal, you know, and then just you know whip it up and come out with your own stuff, man. So uh, yeah, I was definitely inspired by some cats, man. So they. You know, they're, they're cold. They're no, cold. They're some good artists in there, yeah. man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, another question. Mm -hmm. Who produced, like, all the beats you have had on Okay, I'm not, going, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want anybody stealing my beats <laughs> or stealing what, what my, <laughs> who my right. guy is. The guy, his name is 318 Tay. Uh, he's on YouTube. And uh, he's from Louisiana, actually. So I, I don't, I don't, I've never had, like, an actual face-to-face -face, yeah, uh, conversation with this cat. It's just been online, man, through, through email. Um, but he's a producer, um, and all of his beats are like 90, like a 90s feel, mm -hmm. you know? And I want it to be, I want it to be different and have like my own old school style. And I think that's my style, like those really nostalgic Definitely got the voice beats, right. man, appreciate you. And so um, I got all this stuff, on YouTube one day, I just so happened to YouTube, 90s vibe. And this was before I even started mm -hmm. doing music. I just like chilling and putting an instrument on and just ro rolling, man. I don't need any lyrics. I just like to ride like that. And so uh, I YouTube this guy and I'm like, this, guy, this guy's bumping, man. <laughs> and so, and I think one day I'm in the car, you know, I'm like, uh, I'm like, okay, that kind of sounded pretty <laughs> decent. And then one thing led to another, but, I got all my beats from that cat, uh, the guy that engineered all my music. So with music, you have producers, yeah. and most of the time your producers will engineer the song. And so, uh, and yeah, they're mixing, there you go, baby. So you know about this stuff. Yeah. So Tay obviously lives in Louisiana. I can't get to him. And so I'm on Google and I'm looking for studios to record it. And I get connected with this guy named Track Sounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, Track has worked with guys like Slim Thug, uh, Wiz Khalifa, Two Chains, Lil Wayne, guys like Maxo Cream. I mean, some big guys. Mm -hmm. And so, actually, has had his own beats on guys like mixtapes and albums. And so, um, track is cool because he didn't treat me like I was like a scrub when I first walked in there. Man, like that. That's big. That's a big deal. You got these guys that are like up here in the, you know, in the field. Yeah. And for them to treat you like, hey man, I want to see you progress and grow. My first take in, in his studio was like crappy, you know. Um, but he engineered all my stuff, man. Track sounds did. Y'all can look him up on IG. It sounds. You know, showing show some stuff. love, man. He he did all that stuff. So like when the beat drops and then it comes back on, yeah. like 
he did all that, and we'll, we'll throw ideas at each other. You know, I'm like, I don't like the sound of this. I like the sound of that. You know, and so, um, yeah, it was, it was that's, that's all him, man. All right, well, that's all the time we have right now. Yeah. It's a shame because we got a lot more questions to ask you, but yeah. we're going to have to wrap it up. That's cool. It was great meeting you, man. You too, man. You too, Andrew.